Okay, so let's solve this problem. So a tunnel has a shape of semi-ellipse that is 15 feet high at the center. So in a plane, and this one is the tunnel, and the height of the tunnel from the center, that's 15 feet. Then we have this 36 feet across the base. So from this base to this base, that's 36 feet. So therefore, from the center to this base, that's 18. And from the center to this base, also equal to 18. Then how high should the passing track be if it is 12 feet wide? So if this one the 12 feet wide track, so therefore from the center to this point, that's 6. And from the center to this point also equal to 6. Since we're looking for the height of the track to pass through the tunnel, so this one is the unknown. So we only need to pick one point and we're going to use this point. So to find now the height of the track, since the center is in the origin, this one is the center, therefore the coordinate, that's 0, 0, and the center of an ellipse, that's h and k, so therefore h is equal to 0 and k is also equal to 0. Then, since this one is a horizontal ellipse, so this is now the formula. So we have x minus h then to the power 2 over a squared, then plus y minus k to the power 2 over b squared, then equals 1. Then to solve for a, so since a from the center, to 1 of the base, so from the center to 1 of the base, that's 18, so A is equal to 18. And to solve for B, from the center to the height of the tunnel, that's 15, so therefore B is equal to 15. So take note that in an ellipse, A is greater than B. Then for x and y, since we're looking for the height of the track, so we're going to use this point and the coordinate. This one is x and this one is y. So x is 6 and y is the unknown. So we have now x equals 6 and y is the unknown. So to solve now for this problem, so using this formula, so we have now x and x is 6, then minus h, h is 0, then to the power 2 over a squared and a, that's 18, so we have 18 squared, then plus y, and y is the unknown, so we have y minus k, and k is 0, then to the power 2 over b squared and b, that's 15, so 15 squared then equals 1. Then simplify, so this one is 6 squared, so we have now 36, then over 18 squared, so 18 squared, that's 324. So 324 then plus the y squared. So this one is the unknown, the y squared then over this 15 squared. So 15 squared, that's 225. So over 225 then equals 1. Then to simplify, so we need to transpose this to the right side, so we have now y squared over 225 equals 1 minus, so this 36 divided by 324, 
So, 36 divided by 324 equals the 0 0.11. So, minus 0 0.11. Then, we have now y squared over 225 equals 1 minus 0 0.11. So, 1 minus 0 0.11 that's 0 0.89. So this one is 0 0.89. Then to solve for y, so we apply cross multiplication. So this one is over 1. So we have now y squared times 1. This one is y squared equals this 225 times 0 0.89. So 225 times 0 0.89. So we have now y squared equals so 225 times 0 0.89. That's 200.25. So we have this 200.25. Then to solve for y, so take the square root and cell. So therefore y is equal to so we have the square root of 200.25 equals that's 14.15. So y is equal to 14.15 feet. So this is now the height of the track to pass through this tunnel.